hello everyone in this video i will show you how to install and use the new year countdown for premiere pro first take a look at its promo You can download this from the videohive.net and the Envato elements. I have put the link in the description section below. So after downloading, you will get a GIF file, something like this, New Year Countdown 2022 Mogad files. So you need to extract them using any unzip software. Here I'm using WinRR. So I'll right click and select Extract to New Year Countdown. And it's going to take a while. And then you will get this folder, New Year Countdown 2022 Mogget. Just open it and inside it you will have a one PDF file which is for the help. And the second one is this Mogget. So just open this and this is the Mogget file which we need to install. Alright, go back to the Premiere Pro. And inside the Premiere Pro there are two ways to install it. One is by the classic way and if you are using the Premiere Pro version 2019 and above then you have this option and for this purpose you need to go to the essential graphics so if it is not shown over here go to the windows and select essential graphics and that way essential graphics would be visible here and uh, the classic way to install this is by clicking on this little plus icon which is on the bottom right corner just click on this and that would open up the file browser and select the new year countdown mogget files and you can browse this file and press open and that way this would be available right over here all right and another way is by just going on this hamburger menu in this essential graphics panel just select the manage additional folder and click on the add and browse the location all right so we have already browsed that location and then we need to select folder all right and that way this folder would be available somewhere somewhere over here okay i have many packs installed so that's why you might not be able to see okay this one is right over here okay and press okay and that way this would be available right over here and you can see this is the new year countdown so you can select this and it's very easy and simple to do all you have to do just select this and drop it over here right over here so if i drag and drop it's not going to work because we don't have any sequence right over here so i am going to create a new sequence so i'll click on this page like icon select sequence and i'm going to choose 1080 okay let me find digital slr okay 1080 and i'm going to select this 30 frame per second and i'm gonna name it as new year countdown 2022 and i'll press ok now i got the sequence i can now simply drag this one and drop it right over here okay so it's gonna show you this message that it doesn't match with the sequence setting so you can change the sequence setting or keep the existing setting so i'll keep the existing setting for my sequence because i want my project to be 1080 pixels so i'll just keep this one and it's going to take a while to load and now you can see that it has been loaded let me just drag it to the beginning 
of this sequence this is taking a little bit time reason being that this is a very heavy project so you have to bear with that keep that in mind all right so now you can see the preview of it if you just play it you will see the preview right over here I have lowered down the resolution reason being that this is a heavy project you can see this by from this red line that means this is a heavy project and this has not been yet rendered all right so it has all these countdowns and this is the logo and these are the text so we can change all of these let me select this one so for that purpose you need to select uh, this file once you select uh, this file then you need to go to the essential graphics and select the edit one and over here you have some of these options to change so first is the common so you here you can just change your logo all right so that's the logo png all right at this moment it's the envato logo so i'll just drag my logo right over here click and drop it right over here and this drag and drop feature works only in premiere pro 2021 version so you need to have the premiere pro 2021 version in order to use this countdown for premiere pro because this is only available for that one all right uh, so now you can just scale it down or you can just scale it to fit so here we have the option scale to fit all right this has been fit and then you have the option to scale stress to fill okay i'll just select the scale to fit okay and i can manually adjust all of its parameters from right away from the height uh, from uh, all these parameters x value y value all right so i can adjust that as well okay and then you have the name so we can adjust its name so let me just uh, adjust the setting so i can scale it a little bit down something like this and i'm gonna change it to my name my brand name and i can change its font you have the option to change its font whether you want it to be bold or not extra bold italic so you can choose any of the font all right so you need to have the montserrat font for this one and then we have the option to your you change your website name so I'm going to change my website name like over here ashwardhanar.com again we have the option to change its font and all of these parameters then we have the scene one all right so if we click on this we can change the scene name one all right so if we just make take it back and let's play it So you can see that I need to change the Y value of my logo. So I'll go to my logo and adjust its Y value. So let me just drag it up or I can make it smaller. Let me scale it down and change its Y value. Let me drag it up so that it goes a little bit up. All right. So now this one is looking good. And then we have the option to change the scene one. So in the scene one is the time to start so you can change all of these texts like right over here you can change its uh, text you can change the logo position you count down timer position and this is the text number two a new beginning all right so whatever your message is you can just type it change it right from here, over here and then we have the scene two scene three scene four so all of these are available here so you can fully customize this okay and thereafter once you are happy with your editing all right you can just add the music i have placed the link of the music as well that also you need to download from the audio jungle or envato elements if you have the envato elements subscription then this is a very very uh, useful reason being that you get unlimited downloads whether it's a uh, uh, stock videos stock audios uh, royalty free music or video templates and there are so many amazing things you can just have one subscription and you can download each and everything for unlimited projects and unlimited use all right so uh, let me play some music and then to music this is how it looks like
so once again the download link is in the description section below and if you like this video please hit the like button and please consider sharing this video with others and if you have not subscribed to this channel please consider subscribing if you have any question please do let me know in the comment section below so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next video till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in your